In this version of the tale, the resourceful Piper appears as a benign and insipid camp counsellor, and the feral rats are pets. Not in my world, thank you very much. They carry lethal parasites, breed like... like rats, bring interminable disease and destruction. Warning, this is a bilge alert. Hamlin here is a pretty little town with a huge rat problem. But don't tell the mayor or the townspeople. The mayor has tried to turn an infestation of malignant vermin into a wholesome, cuddly family attraction. They're so clever and very sweet. Take home several. They're so sufficient and make practical pets. That's my Aunt Fanny. Would he take tarantulas to bed because they're warm and fuzzy? And their dark meat is extremely tasty. Ah, an appeal to the meaner instincts. Pets or food. Often an effective ploy, base creatures that we are. I see your problem, Mayor. And for the small stipend of gold you mentioned, I'll solve it for you. Finally, the mayor shows a scrap of sense. He negotiates a deal with a piper who has a distinguished record for rat removal. The piper's siren song leads the rats from the town. I was counting on strains of show me the way to go home. Marvelous activities, a really big wheel, and smaller ones, and a very tiny one, and they all go around. Endless supply of waste material, and a sewer for 5,000 of your closest friends. You might as well offer matches to pyromaniacs. These rats were perhaps not as clever as some, but they were moved by his inducements. Imagine! They all jumped onto the barges. Now the piper appears to have solved the town's rodent problem, as agreed. But the mayor is apparently trying to stiff him. We had an agreement. I rid Hamnan of the rats. Pay me now, or suffer the consequences. The rats left of their own volition. You knew they would. You tricked me into making a bad bargain. Now, here's a difference of opinion that should have resulted in bloodshed. But no. The Piper's thinking, I'll pluck this chicken another way. He hatched a plan and waited for a holiday. Family Celebration Day finally arrives, and the patient Piper presumably has vengeance on his mind. Your children are unable to resist this tune, and you are unable to help them. They are, in a word, mine. What'll he do with all these brats once he gets them inside? They'll want to eat and drink, then get sick, stop for toilet breaks, won't shut up with questions, and he's still got no money, and the mayor is still standing. Is this anybody's good idea for taking revenge? Come, children. Do the Piper Dance! Since the parents don't care where their kids have got to, why should we? Unless there's something indecent going on. What are this man's intentions anyway? Nothing good, I'd venture. But it's a mystery. So the creatures responsible for more human misery than anything else nature could concoct are pets. And the children, fatuous dupes, and the piper, a nice but ill-used guy with a lonely heart. Da! If you'd like an emetic to relieve your nausea, play on! The town of Hamlin is beset by rodents. To Hamlin residents, the plague of rats just meant there were too many. These people don't know the meaning of plague. Wait till they start vomiting and peeing black, then talk to me about plague. Let's make it dark. Make it stinky.
charge! over with. and bite. We'll show them what screeches at night. Make it rotten. Chomp and stomp. Squeak and squeal, you'd better scratch and bite. <laughs> the Piper offers to rid Hamlin of its infestation. Why offer when you can extort? Let's help the man make a rotten 
dir. Make it nasty. Grim does dirt. Cheesy, but smashing good fun nonetheless. The Piper's tune lures the rats away from town. Seems a bit cheery for a death march. Let's make this procession darker. Make it rotten. Let's grim it. Love a giant rat. You know, I was born in the year of the rat. <laughs> the rats are loaded onto ships. <laughs> That's no way to treat them. 
Let's drown those buggers. Make it disgusting. Stomp it! Not so secret now, are ya? These rats don't get to flee the sinking ship. I hope they clog up the sewers. The mayor refuses to pay the piper. A cheat I like. Not a stupid cheat. Let's make sure he gets what he deserves. Make it rotten. Make a mess. Make it repulsive.
grim secret found! Oh, I'm so dark. The villagers celebrate life without rats. It seems they've forgotten the piper. What's this? He's not forgotten them. Ooh, this should be fun. Make it disgusting. Too tidy. Make it putrid. Make it dark. Stomping, butt kicking good. So good. That is a cockroach on toast. Chomping stomp! Ha! Nabbed their kiddies! A suitable revenge? Perhaps the start of one? Let's see where the pipers tune in.
Piper holds children captive at his mountain hideaway. Oh, sweet revenge. The children are now the Pipers. But captivity is hardly punishment enough for these fools. Let's take it too far. Make it disgusting. Let's tone down those colors. like a good sacrificial rite. Let's finish these bastards off. Make it vile. Don't delay, but stomp away!
were a menace. Ever hear of the Black Plague? Know what started that scourge? Rattus, Rattus, that's what. Kill millions. Not their fault, really, but it's their nature. Much misunderstood, the rat is. Still, they had to die. And much other collateral damage done, too. Oh, yes, that was the fun part. Rats ruled the town of Hamlin. The residents were all destined to become rat chow. Rats are insatiable, indiscriminate eaters with bad attitudes and no moral qualms to speak of. I'm a bargain, mate. Wouldn't be right you being so close to passing on. But it's got rats in it, both quick and dead. Well, yeah, of course. But only a few rats. No such thing as a few rats. Think orders of magnitude. They come with relatives. Just when things seemed like they couldn't get much worse, a person in a preposterous costume arrived, claiming he could save Hamlin from extinction. I may not know much, Mayor, but I do know rats. What they like for breakfast, what they talk and dream about. Who they sleep with and where they worship. Ask him in Berlin. I'm cheap at twice the price. No, I won't pay it. There's only a few hundred thousand left. We'd be penniless. I'd have nothing to live for. Die rich then. I'll collect what remains at your funeral. If there's anyone left to bury you. A man not afraid to put hair on the head of a cogent threat. That's the man for me. A little crazy, no doubt. But can he deliver? I'm vanquished. I'll pay. We've got a deal. I'll get rid of the rats. Get the money already. You can lead a rat to water, evidently. Was that a slow boat to China, I heard? Jump aboard, me hearties. Nothing better for the nerves than a calming cruise. Plenty of flotsam. And jetsam, too. Bracing air. Good company. And so on. Probably didn't want to spoil his surprise. Rats leave sinking ships. They're enthusiastic swimmers. So hoping they drown would never do. The Piper knew him. I never agreed to pay that. I won't pay. You can't make me pay. Leave, or I will have you drawn and quartered. You'll rue the day you cheated me. All you stole was money, but I will take from you your future. 
a pregnant and horrible threat. But the mayor's a hopeless optimist, as well as a dim-witted cheat. The rats are gone. The worst is over. So make an enemy of a piper in a funny suit. What's the harm? Where are the other children? What have you done with them? Do you want to ransom? Huh? Your money is as worthless as your promises. I am the king of rats. Your children are servants to my court. They are gone from you forever. Delusions take many forms. He seemed destined to insanity. But being cheated didn't help. Happy endings are an illusion. The Mad Piper's apocalyptic vision required suffering and the demise of everyone but himself. So, screwing a guy in funny clothes with no aversion to risk who makes a living killing vermin who's pretty obviously sliding along the naked edge of sanity is a huge mistake. If you make a deal, live with it or die with it. But there's no one else to blame when you Welsh. Make all our stories end so well. Until next time. <laughs>